All right, today we're going to start talking about circles, and specifically we're going to talk about major and minor arcs. Our question today that we're going to start with is, what's the difference between the measurement of arc AB and the length of arc AB? Because there's two ways that you can kind of look at an arc. An arc is kind of like the outside of the circle. So you can think of it in two ways. When we talk about the measurement of arc AB, we're talking about how many degrees out of 360, because the circle has 360 degrees. So like if we're looking at this part of the arc, we might be saying, how much of 360 is that arc up there? And we'd say, okay, that's half of the circle, so that's 180 degrees, that's how big that arc is. The other way that we can look at the arcs is we can actually say, well, how many inches would it take to get from here to here? And that's what we're looking for when we're looking for the length of the arc. So there's two different ways to think of an arc. How many degrees it is out of 360, and what is its actual length if we were to measure with a ruler or something like that. Today we'll just be mostly looking at <clears throat> the measurement of arc AB, meaning how many degrees it is. All right, so when we start looking at circles, we start with a central angle. A central angle is an angle created by taking two uh, radiuses and then finding the angle in between them. So right here, I made two uh, radiuses, and then this angle is 60 degrees right there. So that's a central angle. So a central angle is any angle in the circle that is at the center of the circle. So if this is 60, this would have to be 120 because those make a line together. So that'd be 180 degrees together with those two central angles. All right, so central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So VAC, we would say that that is a central angle of 60 degrees. I did tick marks here and here because those are both the radiuses and all the radiuses are supposed to be the same. All right, a minor arc. A minor arc is the edge of the circle, so the part of the edge on the outside, with a measure that's less than 180 degrees. So from B to C, that would be a minor arc because it's less than 180 degrees. And from C to D, that arc out here would be a minor arc because it's less than 180 degrees. When you name an arc that's a minor arc, you name it with two letters. So from B to C, we just say the measurement of arc BC, and that would be 60 degrees. For the measurement of arc CD, so just C to D, it's a minor arc, so we only use two letters. We'd say 120 degrees. Now notice that the arcs are the same as the central angles. So if this central angle is 60, this arc is 60. If the central angle is 120, this arc out here is 120. All right, a major arc. Major arc is when we have an arc, so remember arcs are on the outside, it's an arc greater than 180 degrees. And when you name a major arc, you have to use three letters instead. Let's say that I wanted to go from C all the way over to D over here. If I named that CD, you would be confused. You wouldn't know if I'm talking about this one, which we already said was 120, or if I'm talking about this one, which is 240 degrees. So to make sure that we're not confused about which arc we're talking about, the minor one or the major one out here, we use three letters to say that we're talking about a major arc. So if I go from C to B and then end to D over here, C, B, D, that's all this part over here, the whole circle is 360, and so it's everything except for this 120 degree arc here. 
So I do 360 minus 120, I get 240 degrees out there. If I wanted to find the measurement of major arc CDB, C, D, B. That's everything out here except for this 60 degree angle. So 360 minus 60, that means all of this out here would be 300 degrees. A semicircle is an arc where it's 180 degrees. So the semicircles are made by a diameter. So when we do a semicircle, we have to name it with three letters, kind of like a major arc. So we did have a semicircle up there. We have one down here, we have one up here. Notice that up here, there's not a third letter up here that I can use. So I can't really name this arc because there's no letters up there. So I'm gonna have to name the arc down here, B, C, D. That semicircle, so it's made from the diameter up here. B, C, D would be 180 degrees because it's 60 degrees plus 120. So that'd be 180 degrees. Okay, mark arcs are measured by degrees. We always do that, the measurement of AB. We talked about that before. So when we're talking about the outside of the circle, and we're just talking about how many degrees out of 360, we say the measurement of AB, of arc AB. If we wanted to measure the distance, like in feet, in inches, in centimeters, or something like that, then we say the length of arc AB. And we'll do that later on. Uh, remember that the central angle is always equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. So up here, the central angle was 60, and that meant that this arc that it intercepts, so if you follow out your fingers, it's intercepting this arc out here. So if the central angle is 60, the intercepted arc is 60. Central angle is 120, the arc out here is 120. So we know the central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. So here I have example number one. I started off knowing that the measurement of angle CAD, CAD, that's a central angle, 153, and I started off knowing that the arc ED is 78, so here's ED out here, that's 78 degrees. Okay, so I had to find all this other information, here's how I found it. Since CAD is 153. That means this arc is 153. So central angles and arcs are the same. If this arc is 78, then this central angle is 78. Okay, how did I find this angle right here? Well, BAD is a straight line. So that's 180 degrees in the circle. So this is 153. I just took 180 and subtracted 153 from it, and I got 27 for that arc, which means this angle right here is 27. So BC, 27. I found that from subtracting from 180 here. EAB, EAB, that's the 78. That's because central angles and interceptor to arcs are the same. DBC, 207. So that's a major angle, so D, B, and then ending at C. This all is 180 degrees from here to here, from E, from D to E to B, that's 180, and then plus 27. So I did 180 plus 27 and got 270 degrees. B, E, D, B, E, D, that's a semicircle, so that's 180 degrees from that arc right there. Look at a couple more questions. <clears throat> All right, example two. Here I've got a circle. The central angle is 70 degrees. And I want to find the measurement of angle ANM. So ANM doesn't really have a line there, but I can make a line. So A and M is this angle right there. What we have to remember is that these radiuses are all congruent to each other. So what we're actually looking at is an equal of 
isosceles triangle there. So if it's isosceles triangle, these two angles have to be the same. So AMN, that angle right there, has to be the same as ANM, this angle right there. So I just called those two angles X because they're the same. And I said 180 equals 70 plus 2X. Because in a triangle, all the angles have to equal 180. And I subtracted 70, divide by 2. And that means that angle has to be 55. So this is 55, 55, and 7 in that triangle. Example 2. In this one, I want, or I know that angle BAC is equal to angle DAE. So BAC is this angle down here. And DAE, DAE is this angle up there. And we know those two angles are equal. What that means is these two arcs have to be equal too. Because the central angles are the same as the arcs. So I named both of these X. And then these three arcs together make 180 degrees. So then I can just do 2x plus 80 equals 180 and find out that x is 50. And then if I wanted to find EBC, EBC is all of this. So 8, 180, that's from E to B, and then plus this arc right here, 50. So I did 180 plus 50 and got 230. Last one. <clears throat> find the ma minor arc and the major arc. Okay, so this minor arc here is 5x, and this major arc here is 7x plus 96. Those two arcs taken together should make the full circle. So that means that I can take the two arcs, 5x and the 7x plus 96, and it should equal to 360 degrees. And then you can just solve it, you find out that x is 22, and you can plug that back in to find out how many degrees each of those arcs were. So if I plug in 22 here, I get 110. If I plug in 22 here, I get 250. And again, you can check your work because 250 plus 110 equals 360 degrees. All right, that's our first lesson. Good luck. Bye-bye.